Good morning, everybody. It's a Monday morning, middle of July. We have a 14-yard walkout basement for board today, and then we got a couple other jobs we got to go set up for the rest of the week. So, fourth floor, 3,500 psi, fiber mesh, water reducer, our pretty standard floor mix. They got two inches of styrofoam down. They got radiant heat down, and then he wanted us tie up. We got a, a mat of that fiberglass rebar we tied over the top of it. So. Plus it's got the wire in it, so we got quite a bit of reinforcement in this thing. We, we typically don't pull the wire up when we have radiant like this. The heating guys usually like the tubing closer to the bottom of the concrete versus the middle or the top. So we'll leave that right there, and then we got the rebar on top of the tubing acting as the reinforcement. That box was right on, Darren. That was down about the bottom of that lip loop on that I don't have to get too much up on that loop, okay? Mix feels pretty good today. It's been pretty rocky, but today it, there's no uh, separation in the mix today. It's a lot better than it was last week. I don't know why. What? Have they adjusted or something? Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking the same thing. A little better? Yeah. Whoa! It's a little bit high right there. Can you pull it that way? I gotta just shoot right here. Hold on a minute. Heads up guys. It just needs to laser for one more second. Good there.
Yeah. Y'all mixed up, Paul? Let's take a look at it when you get them in. That little trench coming up behind you if you sink. You see ya? Oh, okay, never mind. See ya. It's a push push ball. What are you looking for? Look at the view. Oh! Look right, how quick I am. Fly. That was quick. Got as far as it goes. Oh. No, he's coming around. That's good. That's good. Uh oh, ain't looking good. In fact, I ordered a bunch extra too. Wonder if all the rain in the aggregate messes weights up. I'll we'll have to shoot our grades and see if we're high in art, I guess. This grade is great. We can slope that in the garage a little bit more if we have to. I don't know if we'll have enough to do that or not. That's how high we are. I'll have him flip that and I'll have him drop it down one more. I don't know, bud. Does he do you think he compensates for all the moisture in the stuff? I don't know. Yeah. I ordered a bunch extra, we shouldn't have run out. You had seven and he had seven, right? As far as I know. Now nah, we'll see if we're high or not. About a half inch high there. Hopefully we're the same there and we could drop that a little over there. Hey Luke, hold up just a sec before you mag that. Might have to drop it a little more. It does, and that slopes quite a bit. I wonder if we ought to... I wonder if we ought to screed this first. 
because it looks pretty high here. Then just see. I almost think we're going to do it. Yeah, it should be a half inch below top of wall over here. This should be a half high. Where'd that straight edge go you had, remember? Oh. Was that the 14? Yeah. I need to make a pad 14 feet out. If we could use that as a guide, maybe. No, that way, Darren. From there to here. I think he's got a wall going right here. 14 feet. Yep. Okay. Thank you. A little bit out. Yeah, keep that low. Keep that low. Just building up. Keep that. This this here is way too high, so that's okay. more important to keep that low than this is over here, okay? Right. So as he's straight edging, you do this. Right. And it's a lot easier on his back. You, you wouldn't know that, but I'm just telling you, okay? And then he doesn't have to stop and start either. So your job mainly is right here. If I'm right there. Okay. It's like we're going to have plenty here. Uh -huh. yeah, now let's pull this high into that low. Whew, way plenty. i going to have to take a bunch out. Good job guys. Looking pretty good. Thanks. Time we get this down. Strike that and use the Vibra Screed. Strike this this way. bit low over there though, huh? Not too bad. I'm going to be 
Got a buzz out hump again right there. Yeah, okay. Might gain just a little bit, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Remember back when you used to bash? Did, did it make a big difference if everything was wet? When, as far as weights and stuff? Yeah. Did you always try to compensate for that, or how did that work? You tried uh, to a point. You tried to compensate for it because you take out so it wouldn't be so much water in there because of the water in the material. Yeah. I can't remember how we did it. But did it matter on like the volume? Yeah. Like the yardage itself, yeah. it did yeah. a little bit, right? Weight. Yeah. And he's yeah. learning. Yeah. Because something like this, like we should have had a yard left over. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know me, I try not to even take yeah. it. Well, this is the second time in a row that you got close. Race. Yeah. Up there last week, you was racing. The thing close. with this one, the grade was perfect. There was no way to screw it up. Yeah. That one up there, it was like that was a little funky. Yeah. Yeah, we got lucky on that one. But uh, two, two in a row like that. Right. I'll I'll ask him. Comment for you. He's gonna say, well, they don't, they haven't taught me that yet, which is true. Can't really blame him for nothing. Thank God we didn't run out though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did right now. Especially on a Monday. Yeah. The mix feels real good today. Not bony at all. Like nothing. Like like it did way back. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that is well. No separation at all. Yeah. You, you see all right. How we doing there, buddy, all right? How's this side, okay? Yeah, probably do the top and this side real quick. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now I'll get that out of the way. You can go ahead and wash that one up. All right. Have to remember on a Monday after a wet Sunday we'll order another yard. <laughs> Just to be safe. Uh, the wind just will make a difference. Uh, it's got to win the sand, I would think. You know, the weight of the sand. Oh, the weight of any, anything. Yeah. Sand, everything. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. So what I was talking about with the truck driver there, the truck driver is a former batch man too, is when they batch out concrete, you know, concrete's usually batched out by the weight. So you have so many pounds of sand, so many pounds of stone, so many pounds of cement, and then, you know, pounds of water per yard. So they punch all that in the computer, you know, and then you get your mix design. But what they have to take into consideration is the water, the moisture content in the sand and the stone and take that in, into consideration when they're when they're batching and it rained all day yesterday which was sunday so all the aggregate was completely soaked and wet which makes it heavier so you got to take that into consideration when you're batching out the concrete so i ordered 14 yards the subgrade in here was perfect there was really no way to screw up how many yards it was going to take to do the floor and the 14 yards was was a yard of concrete over what the floor figured. So we should have had, 
we should have had quite a bit left over you know at least a half a yard if not three quarters and as you could tell we only had a few shovelfuls left over so the guy batching at this plant is, is fairly new and they haven't really taught him all the little technical details so he probably didn't take into consideration the moisture content and all the aggregates this morning so which kind of shorted us technically because everything weighed more than what it was normally weigh if it was dry so luckily luckily as you can see we still made out okay we didn't run short on the floor but it was a lot closer than what we expected you know when we're just about an hour away from the concrete plant so in order to get a, uh, a return truck down here you know we would have had a cold joint in the floor it just would have made a mess but we made we got it through it but that's just I wanted to tell you guys just kind of what we were talking about back there as far as when it rains moisture content and how it pertains to batching out concrete so most experienced batchmen know that and they have a certain formula they use for water content or they test for it in advance so but anyway we're good today so we're going to leave a couple guys here to finish three of us are going to go set up some more jobs and we'll see you on those thanks for watching